Hi there, this is Cher Pendarvis, artist and author of the Painter Wow books and artist tablet books. In this video, we're going to get started with Painter Essential 6. When you first launch Painter Essential 6, you're greeted with the welcome book. And as you can see, there's a lot going on here that's helpful. We have documents, layouts, what's new, which is what we're looking at right now. As you see, an upgrade path to Painter 2018, information about Wacom tablets, essential tips and tricks for Painter Essential 6, learn from the experts, updated user interface, and as we scroll down below, more links to artist interviews, more tutorials, technical support, brushes, and webinars. Here we have a link to tutorials. Here we have a link to images that were created with Painter Essentials and, and information about more brushes. To exit the welcome book, press the escape key. When looking at the welcome book, I mentioned layouts. At this time, we have the laptop layout chosen. And if I go to the window menu here and we choose layouts, you see the laptop layout is chosen, and there are two other layouts, tablet right-handed and tablet left-handed. Let's have a look at the interface. When you launch Painter, by default, the interface is set up like this. Across the top, we have the menu bar. Underneath the Painter Essentials menu, you'll see the preferences, which includes brush tracking that helps you set up Painter to work better with your tablet. This is very important. And some other items. The File menu, Edit menu, Canvas menu, Layers, the Select menu, Effects, the Window menu, where you'll see other panels and other options and the help menu where you can display the welcome book again if you want to and press escape to hide it. In the upper left hand corner you'll see the brush selector bar and if we open this you'll see recent brushes at the top and the Painter 6 Essentials brush library panel Blenders is chosen and Wet Oily Blender. The brush selector panel is set up with brush categories and they reflect media like the acrylics and oils, airbrushes, blenders, chalk pastel crayons, pens, pencils, and markers, and so on. Right now, Blenders is chosen and you see the Wet Oily Blender variant of the Blenders brush is chosen. Directly below the brush selector bar, we have the toolbox, and right now the brush tool is chosen. Here we have the property bar, and the options in the property bar will change depending on which tool is chosen in the toolbox. In the toolbox, we have the brush tool, which is chosen, the eyedropper tool, the paint bucket, the type tool or text tool, the eraser, the crop tool, the rectangular selection tool, and you can do an oval selection or different shapes of selections by clicking this little arrow here, rubber stamp tool and other options, the dodge and burn for working with photos, the mirror painting tool or kaleidoscope, the grabber hand with which you can move around in your image, the zoom in tool, the zoom out tool, and the rotate page tool. Here we see the current color, the main color, and the additional color. And then in the bottom of the toolbox, you'll see the texture, the paper texture picker. And, and click here to view the other paper texture. Here we have the color wheel. On the outside, we have the hue ring. Here we have the current color that is chosen. And, and here we have the value and saturation triangle. 
right now we have a peachy color chosen. If we wanted to instead choose a blue, we would click here in the hue ring, and once we have our blue hue chosen, we can choose to make it brighter or more saturated by moving to the right in the triangle, or make it less saturated by moving to the left, to make it lighter by moving up, to make it darker by moving down. To begin your own painting, choose File, New. I'm going to accept the painter default size. Click OK. Here we have our file. We have a nice green color. I'm going to change it a little bit to more of an aqua. Make it lighter just for fun. Now I'm going to click on the brush tool and I'm going to go up to the brush selector here. Click on the arrow. I'm going to choose the acrylics and oils and the opaque acrylic. So that's how you get started. Now I'm going to hide this image and here I have a variety of images that I've painted. All were painted from scratch. As you can see, Painter Essentials has a great variety of brush looks. The sketches on the left of my cat little doll I created with the cover pencil. To choose a brush, you click here to open the brush library and you see pencils, pens, and markers is chosen and the cover pencil is chosen. If I want to choose a different variant like the thick and thin pencil, I would just click on it like so. The sketch in the center shell study was created with the pastels. So to choose the pastels, I would click here on the arrow and I would choose chalk, pastel, and crayons. And the sharp charcoal pencil is a good one to do the initial sketch. And then also I used the square chalk and the tapered large chalk and tapered pastel for the shell study. And on the right, view from Point Loma. For this painting, I used the acrylics and oils brushes. Say, for instance, the fine camel, opaque acrylic, real oils filbert, and wet soft acrylic and wet oily brush. I wanted to bring back these panels as you can see here, we have the color set where you can choose a color that we can use. Also the mixer panel. And here I've dabbed a little bit of the, the yellow green. We can choose the dropper tool and choose the brush again. And we can make a combination of these two greens as you see right here blend down into the black. And the photo painting panel if you're interested in painting with your photos. So I'm going to go back here to the window menu and close this again to just show the paintings and sketches. As you can see, a lot of variety of brush looks and media is available with Painter Essential 6. Happy creating and happy painting! Mm -hmm.